Hi, it's Anne Marie here. I, today I thought I'd show you how to print this very sweet little sleeping fox um, from the Easy Cut Lino. So let's have a look at how we get our design onto the lino itself. Well, so here I've drawn a little, little fox and I've actually cut it out. And the reason why I've cut it out is I want to use him like a stencil. So I'm going to turn him over. I've started to draw in here. Put him flat on my lino. And the reason why I've turned him over is I want to print the fox facing that way rather than facing the other way. You could do it the other way, but I don't for this instance. Once he's flat down on there, you can draw around the outside get, to get the basic shape. Use him like a stencil, really. Okay, and I've already drawn him here. And then leaving looking at the back, I've just drawn in some extra details and the thick lines that I want to leave black. I've shaded in a few just to show you. These are the bits you don't actually cut out. So once you get to this stage and you're happy with your design, you can start to cut out. Now I'm working on this base here and it's called a bench hook and it just happened to be painted because my daughter painted some bears on it. And I'm also going to use two cutting tools, they're round ones, ones are small, ones are large. And I'll use the small one for the sort of fine detail and the larger one to cut out the larger areas. So I'm going, first of all I'm going to start with a small one and I'm just going to start to cut in side the fox in his ear and around the edge like so you get lots of bits of line off of this one around the edge here I'm just being careful that I don't kind of nick something I want to keep but it's not too bad there's quite a bit of space in the fox's head to cut cut round and he has some eyes so I'm just going to cut around the eyes just to get them started And I'm going to move to my slightly larger tool because I want to get rid of all this grey lino in the middle. He looks like he's wearing glasses. But I shall get rid of all of that. I work quite quick because I've been cutting out lino for quite a number of years. It may take you a bit longer to get used to the cutting tool. But practice makes perfect. And you keep cutting away until you cut out what you want. I'm just going very carefully around those eyes because I don't want to lose that little bit of grey lino. You could probably add some extra details to the fox if you wanted to. I've just kept this simple, this demonstration. raised so that's that part done and the next bit I'm going to cut out is this which is his body and I'm making this into quite an open cut um, design because I want the red envelope that I think we can print on afterwards to show through I want quite a bit of the backgrounds to show through let's get rid of this go back to my smaller tools just so I can go around follow around my lines I was taught at university to cut with a knife which you can do if you've got lots of straight edges but these are so curvy that I quite like these uh, half moon shaped tools these are draper tools so quite easy to buy you can actually buy them from um, big major DIY stores and you can probably get them online quite easily as well let's chop a bit more of that away 
if you gouge too deep you'll come right through to the back of the liner itself so just be a bit careful about digging in try and sort of keep it fairly smooth going along I'm trying, I forget I've got the bench hook so I'm not really showing you very well but the whole, whole idea is to lean against to lean the liner against the bench hook as you cut so that's that part cut out and I'm going to cut this bit out here of his tail smaller one in that little crease there I'm not worrying too much about a few nicks here and there because um, it is a fox and I want him to look sort of a bit scruffy but if you really are into cutting you will take a lot more time uh, and a lot more care in sort of all the sharp edges and all the kind of details that you want to add this fox has very little in the way of detail really okay, there there we go let's get this bit off You're left with lots of little bits and they flick everywhere as well and sometimes they get into your um, ink okay on his tail then I'm just going to um, make some little gouges just to show some little details a fox has like that this is great this liner it's so soft and so responsive um, that it's, it's uh, lovely to cut okay and now to make life a lot simpler I'm actually going to cut him completely out the background still leaving my black edge Follow it around and you can do this because this lino is amazingly pliable I used to work with the grey lino with the hessian on the back and it's very stiff and needs to be warmed up because it has linseed oil in this is just a, a plastic base lino and doesn't need anything like that so it's just brilliant I highly recommend getting an, an easy cut you can get it in different colours some, some are blue, some are a buff colour. So there's my little fox cut out. Let's clear some space here. Um, all ready to be printed. So what I need is some ink. I've got some black block printing ink here. A little bit out. And if your printing ink needs a bit of a mix, a palette knife is great for this. Just to mix it up, because sometimes it separates in the tube. So what we're going to do is have a go at printing the little fox on top of this red uh, envelope that I've just glued down with some Pritt stick, very rough, just literally tore it stuck, and stuck it down and we'll see what we get. So I'm thinking of printing the fox roughly here, so he's half red and a bit of tail hanging off and the collage just gives it a bit more interest. So let's ink him up. Printer, okay. I think I've got enough ink on him. So let's just give this um, a go, pick him up, and I'm going to. Put him, turn him over, put him straight down, 
some bits of liner on there. I'm going to put it roughly there, I think. Push it down, and then I'm going to very carefully turn it back over again. I'm going to get my spoon and rub on the back. You can push with your hand as well. Make sure it's go all over the back. You can have a look to see if it's printed by holding it down with one hand and lifting it up with another. And if you haven't quite got a clear print yet, just put it flat down. But just don't move it because it will smudge. Anyway, let's just have a look, see what we have. We should have a little sleeping fox. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's lovely. I think he's printed out quite well. He could do with a few tweaks. That means um, a bit more cutting out around the face. Um, other than that, I'd probably leave it just as it is. So there you have it, your little fox um, printed on some collage paper. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.